Hi, we're going to be watching episode 20. What's wrong, Adam? That's quite the expression you're wearing. Nothing bad better Nothing happen to him, <laughs> I swear. Yes, a small matter. Things are going to take a turn for the better. Please don't say that. Please, for the love of God, don't say that. I have such a bad feeling for this episode. A few hours ago. I really do. A police officer named Bartholomew Fowler was found murdered in one of the city's slums. Oh, great. Per our investigation, we've discovered Officer Fowler has a gravely ill mother. Oh, a great deal of he money was blackmailed. Was for her care. Augustus. That sniving little... Ooh! I want you to remain at the residence and keep everyone here safe. After everything that has happened, it's simply out of the question. You heard what the chief inspector just told you. Sir, please listen to reason. I'll be back shortly. Yeah. You needn't worry. I mean, their target isn't him. Their target is his brother. So, I mean, he doesn't know that, but it makes sense. He's just that type of person. Hello there. Great. <sighs> this is exactly what we needed. And what do you intend to do with this? You'll find oh, my he gave him those documents. I see. For my first concern, there is a bill I'm pushing through the House of Commons, expanding the vote. No harm will be visited upon myself or any of my family and friends, or I swear I will go public with this. I don't think he's going to care about this threat at all, because I don't think he cares about the Lords. Finally, the path to an ideal society is all but guaranteed. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> What a farce. Imagine right. me, the king of blackmail, as being blackmailed. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately for him, I don't back down under extortion. He's gonna go through with it regardless. Don't tell me. What? What? Someone broke in? They've already made the move? Oh my god! How do they know? Sorry to barge in when you're in such a rush. What? But if you interfere now, you'll ruin the show we have all planned out. You get to play with us, Fred. How do they know? Maggie? Maggie I mean, it's I not surprising that Augustus something. is well informed, but... Don't tell me they've already murdered Maggie. Oh, no! Maggie? No! Are you kidding me? <laughs> But who no, did it? Maggie! Oh, oh. Is there more people at play? Where's the inspectors? Please don't tell me. Please don't tell me that the inspectors, or at least one of them, was a part of it all. Hello? God dang it! Marcus? Marcus! So it was the other one. What's going on here? This is exactly what I was... Worried about. Let's just hope that the brother is still alive. You're kidding. There's no way he's gonna be the same after this. Absolutely no way. This is horrible. Who's there? Inspector Sturridge. It was him. Who did this to them? Why are you the only one who wasn't killed? Why is he shaking? Was he forced to do it? Well, forced to do it. Was he blackmailed to do it? You're responsible for this? That's right. It was but by me. Why? Mind. There must be a reason. I killed them. Samus! He was nothing but a defenseless boy! What reason could you possibly have? Why? Why him? Please believe this. What I did. I never wanted to commit such atrocities. What? I don't want to hear any what lies. What did Augustus I do? I swear it isn't a lie. I don't know who, but someone took my wife and child, only leaving behind the threat. It's no excuse for killing the entire family, but I understand the reason. I killed them with this knife. I mean, Use it. Whiteley's going to gonna kill him, isn't he? Oh, no. This is and who killed Sam and Maggie and Marcus? You can't, you can't fault him. Completely understandable the rage that he's feeling and the sadness. Sam, without you in my life, these were all innocent people. There's no reason to change the world. Yep. Oh, his reason for live in it. living was taken away. <laughs> ah! 
Damn. You're kidding. Damn. He really Damn. didn't do it? I for sure thought he was going to. <gasps> okay. That sliver of hope. Which is <laughs> taken away. <laughs> oh no. Whiteley, a politician widely regarded as a hero, uncorrupted, has just stained his hands the wow. darkest shade of red. Yeah, I hope you die the most gruesome death. Um, I hope it's not quick at all. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, you're doing remarkably well for being outnumbered. Oh, I'm beginning to get invested in this fight. Well, this isn't good at all. Sadly, we've got- I hope Fred doesn't schedule. die! Nice! Okay. Thank God he's not alone. I'll handle them. Stay back. Can he handle both of them at the same time? Of I have a message from my boss. He says, let us have a nice chat about the future sometime whilst gazing out over the sea. A declaration of war, pretty much. I return the evidence, considering it won't be of use to me any longer. Yeah, he's giving up on his dreams. I see. And why will that be? Killed a man with my own hands. My family was slain by the officer I trusted. I stabbed yeah. him. I couldn't help myself. The fact that he still has blood on him. And it's dried too. So it's been a while. Who are you? I am Albert's younger brother. You can call me William. Are they going to recruit younger him? Younger brother? I didn't realize that he had one. The fact is... You've been set up by someone, Mr. Whiteley. This individual, yeah. they are attempting to thwart all efforts of equality by driving its most vocal advocate to commit murder. And he succeeded. So what? what is William going to do now? I mean, obviously he has to eliminate the threat. Sir, if you're truly sincere, and you intend to atone for your crime with your death, hands your life over to me. Okay, so is he recruiting him? Is he going to be a part of the group now? There he is! Everyone, please keep back! We don't want anyone in harm's way. You there. Is he gonna continue on Sir, trying to reform Mr. Whiteley, the can government? You describe what you're going through right now. Your thoughts, please. I've lost them. My precious family's gone. You all have oh. my word. I'll continue fighting. Interesting. Oh, okay. I won't stop. No matter if even greater adversities lie ahead for me, I won't succumb to fear. <laughs> Okay. Are they going to try to make it look like he isn't affected and Augustus' attempts is, you know, worthless? This is interesting. What? William? Is this what he meant when he said, give your life to me? What? It's a grappling hook! Who the devil is that man? You haven't guessed yet. What? I killed the MP's family and the two inspectors. Guard. I see. The entire series of events was orchestrated and He's carried out by me. The Lord a of Crime. enemy. Him? He's the one responsible? But I'm wondering what the end goal of it all is. We'll get help. Someone! Fetch a doctor! <laughs> Hurry! Oh my god! Give my life to you. Okay, so this was always part How of the plan. That help. The class system is strangling this country. All I ask is that you die playing the part of this country's savior. You may consider this performance to be your final act of penance. This is crazy. But why? I'm the guilty one. That is the role the Lord of Crime was always meant to play. But I'm so interested to find out exactly what's going to happen after this. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Wiley. I, I feel so bad for him. He was such a good character and he was so morally good. Which will come out on top? Necessary evil or pure evil? In the end, only wow. one will remain. Let's hope you prevail and, you know, Augustus um, ends up dying. I wish I could say that I didn't see the events uh, involving Wiley happening. But I just had such a bad feeling. As soon as last episode ended, I had such a bad feeling as to what was going to happen this episode. And it, it happened exactly as 
I thought was gonna happen. Uh, there was a part of me who is still very optimistic about everything, and William was, you know, gonna put a stop to it all before uh, what these brother was killed. But sadly, that did not happen. And yeah, I don't, I don't blame Whiteley for the actions that he took. I also don't blame the police officer necessarily for the actions that he took. Obviously, it's not an excuse for killing innocent people, especially a child. Yeah, I, I understand his motivation. I don't like his actions that he took, and I do think that his end is just. I, I do think that. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Augustus' goal was completely change Whiteley, and he succeeded in doing that. You know, William took Whiteley's crime onto himself, made him uh, the common enemy of the people to try to force change, and yeah, we're, we're coming we're coming down the wire here. We, we don't have many episodes to go, and I'm so curious to know exactly what's going to happen after this, especially since William has revealed himself. Like, he's not going to be able to exists just in plain sight he's gonna have to hide and you know i'm curious as to how augustus knows about william's entire group but that whole line with necessary evil versus pure evil i think that's such an interesting concept right there and which one is going to prevail more uh but yeah i really hope william makes augustus suffer because he deserves it so if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like like please dislike the dislike and tell me what i can do better please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to find every single time i make a video and i wish each and every single one of you a wonderful day night evening afternoon whatever you prefer and i'll see you all in the next video bye